Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today in this demo we are going to see a demo of the e-commerce application in a Spring Boot, Hibernate and JPA. So first talk about the technologies that we are using in this application. So here for the, from the technology side, uh, like it's using Spring Boot, Hibernate and it's Hibernate, JPA. HTML and CSS Bootstrap and uh, JSP and it's a Spring Boot application running over the Tomcat server and following all the industry standards and let me show you a bit architecture then we'll move to the demo so this is your application dot runner file uh, which is using a Spring Boot annotation Following complete TMBC architecture, so controller, DAO, DTOs, exception, forms are there under the controller. I can show you one format of a controller here. And uh, this kind of request mapping is using, get mapping, post mappings are there. And over the controller, after that, we are managing the front end here. It is available into a JSP. And uh, it's using tiles.xml to manage the layouts and it's a form.xml to manage the dependencies. So it's a web application. Okay, so uh, now let's run and check the features and functionality of the application. Uh, how is working? Okay, the first thing, uh, if you have bought this project from the code one, and after that, you need to follow these steps that I'm going to follow now to operate and run the application in order to enter the valid data or execute it successfully. So if you have taken the remote support from the code one, and they will do the the team will do the setup at your machine, and they will leave that project in this condition, and you have one database like this, and another thing uh, here is the e-commerce database, and they will leave it in your Eclipse like this. After that, what you need to do, I'm just going to show you in this demo. Okay, so for that, uh, before that, let's explore the backend. So it's using MySQL database and we always using MySQL workbench to explore the data, the backend data. So here we have some tables, user tables, product, orders, category and cart. Under the user table, when I view the data of the user table, how can you view the data? Just right click on this table, select the first option, you will be able to view the data. So here is the records, the user records, so multiple uh, users are there multiple types of users there um, one is admin and um, you can say customer you can say seller or a shop owner so this kind of users are there three types of users are there uh, the first one will be a admin customer and seller also there is a functionality when any user or seller will uh, any customer or seller will register into the application they will not be able to directly log in into the application what they need to do the admin will approve them after that only the customer and seller can log in over there so we have this is the old project and we have uh, enhanced it and add some features and functionality so let's see how can we do that okay so uh, currently the server is running so i just stop the server and now the very first step in order to run the application you have to open this e-commerce let me do this like this e-commerce then src main java and the first package and in this package you will find a file e-commerce application.java right click on this file go to run as run it as a java application and select the first option to run it and just wait until the server will start and it will give the specific port number with the context path so uh, if you see here into the console we can see the message tomcat start on n081 and with the context path e-commerce now uh, go to your application or property file we have created one commented url here this is your application url and you can see it's running on n 0 and e-commerce is a contact path and slash home we are using as an api path then open your browser and here it's already have i have so i uh, open your browser enter this url it will automatically launch the application to give you a home page view so this is a home page view and it's using a kind of slider over there okay a simple slider is there and it's a e-commerce application e-commerce application so you can add any kind of product like you can convert it into the uh, like uh, uh, any kind of shop like cloth shop or jewelry shop or different shop so these are the just functionality that i'm going to show you so here 
under the product section this is the home page where you have a slider and under the product section you will see the list of products okay that we have defined according to the categories and this is the dynamic data that is completely coming from the back end and we have categories so uh, let's suppose we have a three categories kids so data will be filtered according to the kid category woman so it will select according to the woman new category and this and this category is also dynamic so you can edit or update it from the back end so another feature we have over the home page is we can search the product so let's suppose i want to search the product with this name so i just copy this name uh, i'm going to, uh, going to search it because it's similar kind of product i'm showing here when i hit the reset button it will display my complete data also we have next option so there are many records so when i click on the second page it will give records from the second page if i go to the previous it will display like this next thing add to card option is there but for that user need to log in into the application then user can access another thing we have about us and contact us page and sign up and sign in so i'm going to first sign up as a new uh, let's suppose i'm going to sign up as a new customer and then we'll do as a, as, a, as, a, as a seller so i have added some dummy data over there and make sure while you're entering the data you are entering valid data like first name and the login id let's suppose i'm going to give a login id as a uh, one two three and the email is good and password from here we can select the customer user type it can be customer or seller when i hit the save button the user is registered successfully now if i check the my user table and uh, i can see the new record over there with this and here and this is a active user currently and now i am going to log in as a customer or as an admin or sorry as a seller so admin or uh, whenever a uh, customer will log in it will be active user and customer can log in over there directly now i am going to change it as a seller and let's suppose i am going to update this login id and when i save it and i refresh the button the new cost new the new user is uh, here as a seller but it's inactive so the seller need permission from the user side from the admin side to activate now let's log in first as an admin and see what admin can do over there so this is the credential for the admin admin at the rate gmail.com as a uh, user id and the password is also available here so i just hit the sign in here what i can see i can see the add category so if admin wants admin can a new category so let's suppose demo category with this name i have created one category i enter some small description <coughs> i choose an image so for this category let's suppose i'm going to add <coughs> this image and make sure while you uploading the image image should be in a small in a size if you uh, upload the last size image it will give an error okay so okay so under the category list what i can do i can search the category by its name i can also delete any category by click on this click on delete it will delete the category now and here <clears throat> to the category list uh, into the add category let's add that category again so i can show you some example that dynamically displaying over the front end so i just add the same image save it now again it's displaying here and add product so let's add some new product in this category so <clears throat> here in this category i'm going to add a name of the product and let's suppose enter the price choose the image of the product so let's add an image this one is okay click on save and under the product list i can see the new product is added under this category okay now here we have an order list so uh, under the order list what i can see uh, the admin can check the list of all the orders that is done by users and um, also admin can check uh, admin can cancel or admin can update the status of the order also admin can search any order by its id so if i search it it will display like this 
add user similar kind of users admin can add you admin can check the user list and if you see here we have recently registered as a two user one is a customer one is a seller so for a customer admin have access to block if admin will block this user the admin that user cannot log in again also and this is the user that seller that we have just um, logged in let's try to log in with this seller now and let's see what's the uh, what's the thing that the user can do so i'm going to copy the url again and going to use a private window to run the another instance of the application so i'm just running it over the private window here and i'm going to log in with this recent user that we have as a seller so i just enter this username password and the sign in by showing it's invalid uh, username why because admin did not approve this use this seller here so let's approve it and as admin i approved and now i just go there and now this time i will be able to log in so as a seller what i can do i can add a new categories i can add a product according to my shop i can manage my dashboard okay now if i hit the logout button <coughs> if i hit the logout button and let's see what a customer can do and how the customer can view the products okay so uh let's log in as a new customer that we have just recently added so i'm going to copy this username here and uh, password and this is an active customer so i can check the list of product first thing i can add some product and also if you notice here uh, recently we have added one category that is displaying here In this category we have one product let's add it to, into the card so now from here or directly it will redirect you to over the card here we have a card uh, option where i can update the quantity let's suppose i want to put quantity of this i just click the update and the price and all the details are updated automatically when i hit the checkout button and it will ask some some fields are directly coming from the database according to this user and this is my item detail that i have choose and here i need to enter some data address and shipping address when i hit the payment it will ask me to select two options once is a card and uh, Expiry date. I suppose I'm going to enter 2029. CVP number. Another option we have a buy check, so you can just enter the check number and details, and you can process for it. So here I click the place order. The order is placed. This is my invoice bill. If I check the order list, I can check my list here. Also, as a user, I can cancel it. Okay. And now, if I view my cart, it will be empty because I have placed the order. Admin can check their its order and do and perform the various operations. Like if I go here now, if I check the order list, I can check the newly placed order over there. Okay, um, uh, seller also can do like uh, operations and uh, um, operations like uh, according to their shop. And we have option common option for all the users like my profile, change password and logout option okay so uh, this is a complete demonstration of the e-commerce application and if you need in in in, in a spring boot and have a net and uh, you can make it any kind of e-commerce like you can all electric shop e-commerce so you can divide it into the categories you can add the product accordingly so this is a common format uh, this is a common uh, interface for any kind of e-commerce application you can use over there so if you are looking for this source code just connect us over the whatsapp skype or uh, mail uh, so we'll provide the complete solution to you it's a paid project and we have a remote services so we will help you to run this application at your machine and it will work same as source in this demo uh, in case of any explanation we will help you to understand the internal code as well so please connect thank you